Hi, my name is Arnau Busquets Garcia and I am a postdoc in the lab of Giovanni Marsicano in the Neurocentrum Magindi of Bordeaux. I am in the first author of the paper Hippocampus CB1 Receptors Control Incidental Associations and before explaining our study we will show you one example. And now we have to discuss the paper. Do you want to come? We are, we are going outside. Okay, okay, okay. We'll see you there. Okay. okay. Sorry, can we can we change the table? I don't feel very good under this umbrella. Hi, I'm Guillaume Ferreira, so I'm, I'm a group leader at Neutrino Ho Lab in Bordeaux and I'm the senior co-last author of the, the present story. So let me explain you why I now avoided the, the, the blue umbrella. So this is based on, on mediated learning, so indirect associations. So in general, we, we know a lot about the direct association, for example, between a peach and, and a reinforcer like the malaise, okay? And then you avoid the peach. We, don't, we know less about indirect association between two, I would say, um, stimuli that are not reinforced. That's what we call an incidental learning. This is the case here between the umbrella and the peach. And then when you devalue the peach, the, the new value is transferred to the umbrella, and this is what we call the mediated learning. We can also use this, this mediated learning in, in animal models, and for this we use a particular paradigm called the, the sensory preconditioning. And instead of using an umbrella and a pitch, we can use different stimuli, such as an odor and a taste, or a light and a tone. And this is exactly what we did in this paper using mice. Hi, my name is uh, Giovanni Marsicano. I am uh, um, group leader at, in the keep uh, endocannabinoid uh, and neuroadaptation at the Neurocentrum Agendie, and I'm senior co-author of this paper. As Guillaume was saying, uh, in this paper we were trying to understand the mechanism underlying this incidental learning. And what we found is actually uh, uh, that uh, the endocannabinoid system, the signaling of CB1 receptors, uh, specifically on GABAergic interneurons in the hippocampus, are fundamental to form these memories. In reality, what we found is that uh, mice that do not have a receptor are very good in forming uh, um, direct learning, associating a stimulus with uh, conditioned stimulus, with an unconditioned stimulus, but are not able to associate to low salience uh, uh, conditioned stimuli. So this means that uh, uh, the circuit, uh, circuits in the hippocampus regulated by the endocannabinoid system are fundamental for forming this kind of mediated indirect learning, which is probably one of the most uh, uh, common ways in which we uh, 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 remember things and we form attraction or repulsion to uh, different stimuli in, in, uh, in our environment. To conclude, uh, what we, we think that Arnau, while he was eating the uh, peach under the blue uh, umbrella, was forming one of these associations, probably using his endocannabinoid system in his hippocampus. So I think that uh, uh, in this story we uh, provided a mechanism to to explain a kind of uh, uh, memory, form of memory that is typical of humans and animals. And what is important is that this is uh, uh, impaired in many uh, neuropsychiatric diseases and therefore we think that maybe uh, by acting on the endocannabinoid system we could uh, in the future uh, try to tackle this, at least some symptoms of, of these diseases.